Welcome to Greenwood Bonsai Studio today here in Nottingham. We're just preparing for our introductory bonsai course tomorrow and uh, I brought a selection of trees in to show you. I'll just briefly show you them and then we're going to do a demonstration for you on Japanese black pine. We've just got an hour or so at the end of the day on a Friday before we start the course Saturday morning. So we've just got a little tree we're going to work on for you. Display, display that we brought in for this weekend, we've got a cascade Chinese juniper, Itagawa. It's got all little red maple leaves on it. It's been sat under a red maple in the garden. So it's got to autumn shades of red maple leaves on the juniper. I've just left them on for a bit of a bit of fun. So it's got two types of foliage on the juniper. We've got a white pine, seed, uh, grown from seed, Japanese white pine in a clump style, all roots connected. That's just come in from a collection that's going to be going out for sale on the bench. We've got the, my Arakawa maple, which we've just featured. Uh, we featured it in a couple of videos and also in the autumn colour video. We've got a heavy trunk Eliagnus with driftwood feature that's currently being reworked uh, for the last few years. And that's on display in here uh, for this weekend. It's a, it's a nice tree to talk about. We've got photographs of it going back several years. We've got Makawa Yatsubutsa. Japanese maple, it's going to go into this pot in spring, it's just resting in this pot, this inner one is cracked, so this is its replacement. Bright red autumn colour on that. We've got my Siberian elm, which featured in one of our earlier videos. There's a whole video about this particular tree, so if you haven't already seen that, it's worth, worth a watch. And we've got an English oak here on the end of the display in bright autumn colour. Looking very, very nice, these autumn tones on a rustic stand in a Gordon Duffet pot. And over here, we've got a little area set up for me to do a little bit of work for you. We've got a Japanese black pine here. Uh, this was a tree that a customer uh, brought in to us. He'd grown it from seed in 20 years. So always been in a pot. Well, I say it's always been in a pot. It's not, not quite a, a pot, but it's in some sort of plastic bowl rock. It's been, it's been cut open. Uh, there's some drainage holes in it and he's grown it 20 years from the seed never really done anything to it and um, sort of got bored of it wanted to sell it or whatever so we just bought it off him a couple of weeks ago it's been sat outside the shop and thought it'd make an interesting demonstration for you so we're going to do a little bit of work on that this afternoon and we're going to do an initial styling although it's 20 year old um, it hasn't been trimmed too much in that time. It's certainly never, never been wired and had a proper initial styling. So that's what we're going to do today for you. So we'll get ourselves set up. We've got a few tools and bits and bobs that we're going to need. So I say when this came in, I thought it'd be a usable tree. It's a little demonstration. It'll be going out on the bench for sale. But rather than put it out like this, we thought we'd do a first stage uh, demonstration uh, of styling uh, just to get these branches into position and organised. So I had a little bit of a look at this tree. I don't study my trees, uh, my material like this for really very long before I start working on them. I've had a brief look at it. Um, got a lot of shaggy branches down here. A little wispy one round here. And it splits up at the top here. It's a bit lumpy and clunky up there. I need to do something about all those negative aspects. It's got quite a nice trunk, flaky bark, and I quite like it at the sort of at the situation, the angle it is now, like a slanting style tree. You know, obviously we could decide, we could tilt it over more, or we could make it more upright, we can alter fronts and stuff. But for this tree, I'm gonna use a front towards you there, so straight on there, and for now, we're gonna keep this angle of the tree. So we're gonna work with what we've got, and see if we can just make it a little bit better. So first of all, with it leaning that way, this is good branch here on the left hand side, helps to balance that movement and flow off to the right. Now we've got one here that's quite usable. This one here, it's quite a good branch, but it is coming from the same point as this one and also coming quite forward from the trunk. So I'm gonna take that one there off with a concave pruner and then this little low down one here we don't need. And this one in here. 
And then these little ones going straight from the trunk, they can be removed. Let me get in there with that, take that back a little bit more. So that's neatened up this section. And do we need this sort of length on this branch? Probably not. Let's just take the tip back, shorten it back into here. And also at this time of year, we can just take off a little bit of these tips, take cutting back to a, a bud further back and removing just a few of these old needles just to allow us to get the wire through. It's going to make it a little bit easier in a few minutes time. So just, strip, just stripping off a few of those needles, ones that are growing down too much, up too much. This is a bit long. Come back down here to the more compact growth. So we've got something like that. Then round here at the back of the tree, we don't want this long wispy branch that can be removed. Then we've got this quite substantial branch here. And again with this, we don't need this much of it. So let's shorten it back down into here. Take off some of this long growth, some of these bits that are hanging down from it. Growing up a little bit too much here. Take off some of these old needles. And these remove quite easy at this time of year. So just work your way through with your fingertips, taking those off. This is a little bit clunky at the end here. So I'm always trying to cut back there's a few very long needles. I'm just going to cut through the end of the needle. It will go brown where I cut through it, but on a tree like this, it's not like it's going to a show or anything. It's still, it's still really in development, so that won't really matter. A few little stubs to come off here and here. This is a usable branch, but this lumpiness on the end of it we don't need. So let's shorten that back to here and get rid of that bit with no bud on it just there and then get rid of these long needles. And there's a little stub in there where it's been trimmed before. That can be trimmed off. So if I spin it back around here to the front of the tree, we've already addressed this section. We'll just work our way up the tree, taking back these old needles here, these very long ones that are waiting to drop. That you can tell when you pull them out, they're just coming out very easy so they're just waiting to drop at this time of year a little bit of growth in there we don't need long long needles here so let's see what we've got from a structure point of view on this tree this is organized this is fine I can use this to spin it round use this quite easy as a left hand branch got one here at the back to give some depth and perspective another one here that's usable this one here isn't too bad. This can sit down into here once we wire it and shape it. This one's okay here. And this one here is quite heavy for, the, for where it is on the tree. But I think we can bring it down and swing it forward. So I'm gonna give this a bit of a prune up. I'm gonna get rid of some of the really heavy growth on it like this and keep some of this finer growth again, getting rid of some of those old needles. Then when we get up to here on the tree, it starts to get a bit more awkward to the top. Obviously a tree like this, it's more vigorous at the apex. And I think that's where it's been growing the strongest, of course. And that's where it hasn't been trimmed and it's becoming more of an issue. We've got a split here, where it splits front and rear on the tree. So we've got to really decide which one of these is the best shape. This one at the front, it's quite obvious, this one at the front isn't the best shape. This one coming forward, very thick, very heavy. And there's a clump here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shoots all coming out there, look. So this is bad structure. Now let's have a look at the one behind. The one behind is better. It has some movement and better taper, but this bit growing up from it isn't very good. It's still better than that one at the front. We've also got a strange branch here. This is a usable branch. You just see the way this one comes out and drops down like that. That's a strange formation because it's in the sort of armpit of this branch. That, that makes it a bit, a bit more difficult to use. So what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna get rid of 
this front section of the tree here and I don't want to gin it because it's straight and ugly so I just want to cut it off so that's going to go like that neaten that up this bit here is dead and then this one here I'm going to get rid of that also because it's part of this knuckle and I want to reduce this knuckle to make it less obvious in years to come so with a concave pruner and we can use carving tools if we have to but we'll be all right with this we're going to reduce that right back to, to neaten that up and we'll put some wound sealant on that in a little time so we're going to keep this we're going to come up here as the top of the tree and bring this forward and this bit that's straight we should be able to wire that we might wire it might cut that off let's cut it off it's growing too strongly upward we'll take that back to there because that's not a very good feature um, that we just have a little trim of this bit at the top again some older needles some thick growth that we don't need and with some of these older needles here taken off I think we're perhaps good to have a have a go at a bit of shaping and wiring now don't forget this is a first first training of this tree for the first time it's had a, a, a structural prune the first time it's had any wire on it so we're not looking for finished bonsai what we're looking for is an improvement over what we started with. And we've done, you know, we've probably, probably done 10 minutes work, got a little seedling there growing, looking at the part, we'll pop that up in a little while. So we've probably done 10 minutes work to this tree, cutting out the nonsense, growth that we don't need, and already that looks a lot more sensible than it did before. So we'll see if we can get some wire on it and get it into shape. So these low branches, these are, are of similar thickness, so we should be able to wire them easy enough with a bit of uh, bit of 5mm bonsai wire. And if we start here at the back of the tree, and this wire is going to come around along the branch like this, like so, and then this is going to come up around the tree. And quite a flaky bark so just be careful wrapping it around the tree and I could have done another turn around there but I deliberately haven't done so not to disturb the flaky bark on the tree so we can bring this up onto this back branch and just move the foliage out of the way as you wind between it like so when we're getting towards the end of the branch and the wire is getting a bit short, you can use a pair of wire scissors, wire cutters, just to help you manipulate the wire through the foliage to the tip of the branch, like so. And then back down to here, again, just move the needles out of the way if you can, just to wire neatly through there. And again, when we get to the to the tip of the branch use the wire scissors just to bring that draw that in along and we'll finish it off here branch is getting a little bit thin for, for that thickness of wire there anyhow and what we'll do with these secondary branches look well, we'll just get a little bit of a uh, little bit of slightly thinner wire we'll pop it up here and we'll just tag this thinner wire to the end of this branch and again wire scissors I find it quite easy just to wind that along like that and then up onto this section now the reason I'm wiring this little piece here is that's growing quite strongly upward so really I want to be able to to manipulate that and bring it down so it doesn't look quite so obtrusive when we style the tree so a little bit of wire around there like so and then as we work our way down we've got another couple of bits here get some wire on these for you yep 
You don't have to wire everything at this sort of stage. You know, some of these thin branches aren't really necessary to wire. But I'm just trying to do a few on this low branch because this low branch is quite important from the style of this particular tree. These little fluffy bits in here, I'll leave them for now. We can wire them at a later date. But with a little bit of wire like that, we can start to position and move this branch into shape. We can bring this down like so. Face it forward like this. Take off these needles that are going down too much. And here, bring this one down like that. So you can see, you get an idea as to what we're trying to achieve here. And then this branch here that we've wired at the back of the tree, that could come down a little bit more and round here into here. This is growing up a bit too much. This little stub on there wants tidying up. Just have another look from the front. See if we can't tuck this in a little bit more, that's better. A bit difficult when I'm trying to work on it. Work on it back to front. So now I'm going to pop a bit more wire on these next branches. So I've got two here that are quite close together. This is a this is the quite heavy, thick branch. So we'll get a piece of thick wire and we'll bring that down. Before I continue this wiring on this apex, just going to put some wound sealant, some black balsam, on that cut at the front. Because then if a wire goes over it, it's already sealed. It's going to be harder to seal that. If it's got a piece of six mil wire and there's another piece there. This one here. Up. We're mainly sealing this for cosmetic reasons and it just helps to blend in against the bark. So dab a little bit of that on there like that. Right, let's have a let's go back and try and get a wire on this uh, on this upper section. So again we're gonna start start here and we're pretty heavy bit of six mil wire and this is gonna come around like this through here around the back of the tree. And, uh, and then this piece is going to come around through these needles. Just be careful, we've got a lot of little shoots here, look. I don't want to, to knock those off. So a bit of care can be taken to try and get that manipulated through there, like so. Along here. This is the thickest branch that we're going to sort of need to manipulate today. So that's why we're using the heavy wire on it. And again, I can use, you can use bonsai pliers or wire cutters to help you manipulate that wire along the branch. Like so. And then up here with this one, this is going to sort out this continuation of the trunk up to the apex of the tree. Bring it round here with pliers. Give you a bit more leverage. Makes it easier. Or something like that. And then we'll wire the tip of that with some thinner wire. So we can manipulate that. I'll do this one into here. And then these two here we need to wire. Now, because these are sort of opposite, coming from the same part of the trunk, one's our left branch, our second left branch, this is a back branch. A lot of people will want to wire these two together, but you won't get sufficient anchorage wiring these two together. So we're going to come off one, we're going to travel up the trunk and onto this one. Come off the other one, travel up the trunk and onto this one here. So we'll get a bit of, uh, a bit of suitable wire for that. Uh, so what we're going to do, 
this we're going to come off this one here and this will go like that and then bring this up careful with it on the bar and keep coming up the tray and on to this one here and then back down here with the other end of the wire and it's going to come along we'll bring it along this piece of the branch because this is the, the thickest piece of this branch and then we can get a secondary wire on and we can do the secondary section in a little while another little stub there where it's been cut so this this has been nicked back on these sections before but i just don't think it's had a uh you know real sort of a real good trim you've seen some of our videos before you know that you know it's difficult conveying something like this in a 20 30 minute video you know with this is although this is to me it's a 30 minute task to many of you this is a couple of hours work and that's fine um but it's not just a it's not we're not starting this tree in 30 minutes what we're doing is we're making a 30 minute start on a four or five year process to shape and style this tree for future years now this is just the first sort of task of it trying to get it underway so this one here this wire is going to do this branch and then this is following up bring it up next to that one and through like this and then follow this wire that's going to come onto here it's going to come along here and then it's going to wire this secondary branch this heavy one just going to bend it down a little bit out of the way just so that i can get some access through to this one i love working on material like this it's uh, the first sort of creative step in making a bonsai from something like this that hasn't been trained much as you know, for those of you that have done it, you'll be aware that it's, it's quite a re rewarding process. You know, it's like the first time you put paint on a canvas, you know, you, you're creating, hopefully you're creating a, I don't say you're creating a masterpiece, but you're starting to at least have a, have a doodle or a scribble, aren't you? You're starting to, uh, you're starting to create something. So it's always the uh, most enjoyable time for, for, for bonsai if your particular thing is, you know, the creative side of it is the shaping and styling, which, which to me it is, you know, sometimes I shape and style trees and I might then keep them a few years, develop them. And then of course, sometimes I, I ultimately end up selling them and perhaps replacing them with more trees that, uh, uh, that need more work, more style, more input, because that's what, uh, that's something I do and something that I enjoy doing. As well as working on sort of specimen trees we're trying to do a bit of everything here we're trying to show in these videos what we do basically here at greenwood you know, so i know sometimes i seem to be working on a lot of specimens but that's because that's that's what we do here but then i'm also trying to work on some more park trained trees and some slightly younger trees uh, to try and cater for towards all your tastes you know depending on what sort of trees you've got and we'll try and feature some unusual species. You know, uh, a couple of weeks ago we did a, a video on bald cypress, and you know, in the UK it's been unusual species. Uh, we did a video on a pyracantha, which is a common tree but not often seen for bonsai in the UK. Uh, we've, done a couple of, we've done a video on a spindle. Uh, you don't see many of those, and we've got a spindle on display for autumn outside the studio at the moment. So we're always trying to think of new ideas and trying to bring new trees in to show you and to talk about as the weeks go on. At the moment we've got a window of opportunity for working and for repotting, trimming, wiring, evergreens. So we've been doing a lot of, um, lots of pines and junipers at the moment at the nursery and in the uh, next few weeks I've got a nice little cedar lined up to work on for you. Uh, we did a cedar video early on in the year. 
and uh, you were quite keen on watching that. We got a lot of good, nice comments on it. So we've got another little, uh, little blue cedar that I want to work on. I've been saving up for you. So we're going to work on that in a few weeks time. So that should be uh, something a little bit different. Like I say, this along with a, we've got another black pine we're going to feature very shortly. Uh, this one is the Japanese black pine, Pinus Lumbergii. And then we've also got a slightly different black pine we're going to be working on just in a, in a few, hopefully in a few days time, time permitting. It's, uh, you know, obviously everyone's different on the internet because we're working bonsai studio. Our main thing this weekend is teaching and training uh, beginners this weekend on our introductory course. But because we've got a few moments spare, it's nice to do a little quick demonstration for you. This week, a lot of the bonsai societies in the UK are getting back on track. They've, uh, a lot of them have not had any meetings for a year and a half or so due to uh, ongoing COVID restrictions. And now they're lifted. They've started the, the meetings again. So I've done a fair bit of traveling this week, going to bonsai societies around the UK, doing face-to-face -face demonstrations. And uh, I enjoy doing that, it's great, great fun. But uh, you know, it means uh, long nights and a lot of traveling and driving to get to the different venues. So it's nice now with, a, I guess with a, you know, a YouTube output like this, that I don't have to go very far. I can just stay here at the nursery and uh, we can do an hour demonstration in an hour and uh, I don't have to drive four hours to do the hour demonstration. So in a way it's a bit of a luxury. It's nice and quick and easy to just do a little demo like this for you here on a Friday afternoon. So hopefully while I'm teaching at the weekend, you can uh, you can sit down and relax with your coffee and watch somebody else doing some work. How about that? It's not a bad idea, is it? Just finishing up some of these wires now. This one here isn't wired up. That's going to need a wire on it. So see if we can just tag that up onto one of these branches here. Bring it down here, look. Just a bit of two mil wire around that branch. Like that is easy enough. Another little section here. That doesn't need, need much wire on it. Just spinning round. And that's going to do that section into here. And then this is going, going to use to shape this branch here. Like so. This one's going to come along to this piece, which is the fattest branch, sort of secondary branch in that foliage pad there. So that's that done. I did this lower section. That one there's not done, that's okay. A little bit of wire to come off here. There's some pieces here to do. These sections at the top are going to need a bit of wire. So they're not too, not too tricky. Just to wire those so we can get them into shape. Because that top's a bit, a bit juvenile. So see if we can just get a little wire on those so that we can probably bring those down. Just set those buds, those small bits of growth. Just set them off in the right direction. One here we don't need growing up too much. These needles are a bit long. Another little piece here, and down onto here, just to sort these out. Don't be too too difficult. Just here. And take those old needles off there. And this little shoe, quite fine and delicate, just be steady with it. Take those old needles off again. 
So, snip the bits of wire off, and the little needles back. So, we've now, we've roughly pretty much wired sort of 90% of the, of the branches on this tree. So let's see if we can just manipulate it. So, so you can see a bit clearer. Let me come round the front. So you've got it against that background. And we need to bring this branch down. So here, this wants to manipulate down and forward. And this was quite heavy. Look, we put some, some six mil wire on it, didn't we? And try and get it down into here. And then bring this foldage into here. There's a little bit of growth here that wants to come off. This one won't bring it down. This one from the back, we can borrow a little bit of that foliage, bring it round into here. Like so. And then this one here. Can we get some of this round here to fill in? This top here, we want to come this way and that with this. Use the pliers just to hold that wire, manipulate it this way. And then we're going to make a top out of that one to give us more taper. And then this one will come down on this right hand side. That one can go to the back a little bit. This one wants to come down here. I'll manipulate this into here. This one here. And this one wants to come down here. And we took that big lump off here, we've got this scar. It'd be nice if we could hide it a little bit. So why not get this one, just drift it across like that into here. This one like this, this one into here. And then this one we're gonna bring down. This is gonna come into the front of the trunk a little bit. And then this one sweeping forward like this. Just turn these like so. This one's got to fill out, it's a bit underdeveloped at the moment. And then this section here, we can bring it in here, can't we look, just in there look. Drop it in here, here, like that, just to bulk out, fill out that left hand side. I still need a bit more filling out at the top of the tree, but like I say, that's the most, that's the most vigorous part of the tree. So getting growth in here at the top won't be, won't be an issue. That will, that will fill out by next, uh, sort of late spring, early summer. A few of these needles hanging down. We can just get in, remove those a little bit. Just a little bit of manipulating on these. Again, some of these needles that are now hanging down. We can just reduce back. Bear in mind, this is like I said before, this is its first styling. You know, it's going to take a few years to to make a, a bonsai out of this, but if we don't start now, we'll never get there. This one here is a little bit too long. Let's shorten that back into here. Let's try and get a little bit of wire onto this one here that's sort of poking up. See if we can just uh, sort that out. Just run a bit of wire along this branch. Like so, a little bit in here, so just to organise that. There's always one little shoot that you don't wire because you think, oh, I'll get away without wiring that. And of course, once you position everything else, it looks quite obviously untrimmed or unshaped and you have to go back and, and do it. But you always make that mistake, you always think, oh, there's that one there, or he doesn't need wiring, I'll get away without wiring that. Always needs doing. Just a bit more position on some of these branches. A little bit of a trim. Just meet the tips off some of these old needles. Try 
some of these longer ones just to let a bit more light and air into the tree make it look a bit more sensible Initial styling of this pine, we have a little bit sparse at the top of the tree. So what we've done is we've brought branches forward to give us the image from the front. We've got a few buds here at the back that are going to fill out. So you can see in here, all these buds here popping quite well. Another one here, look. So as this grows, we can wire it to shape into here. These will come out into here. This will fill out here. So that all will develop over the next couple of years. But for now. We've got this sort of shape. We've kept the original slanting style and angle of the tree. We've probably cut uh, maybe 50 to 60% of the tree away. The heavy, robust growth that was quite thick without any taper and bits that were in the wrong places. So now we've got a nicer flow and movement to the trunk and it's offset nice with more, more elegant branches. So this tree now, if we don't do it at this time of year, we'll do it in spring. It'll come out of this, um, this tub and go into a bonsai training pot, just like a plastic pot with a little bit of depth to it, so it can grow on in there for the next couple of years. This wire will probably come off in about a year's time here in the UK. Uh, we'll take the wire off. The branches should stay set in the position we put them in today. And then probably in another two or three years time, once it's got more growth, and it's filled out more, we'll do another wiring session and it'll be more, uh, more precise and more delicate wiring and we can start to build up the foliage pads that way. But uh, I don't know how long this has taken us, but we filmed it in real time. You know, we've not done any downtime. We've, we haven't switched the camera off and I've done 10 minutes behind the scenes. We filmed it start to finish, you know, so if this is a 35 minute video, then it's, it's took me 35 minutes and it's made quite a transformation with this tree set it on its journey to being hopefully an elegant beautiful bonsai of the future if you've enjoyed this video please give us a like and if you haven't done already please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos coming up or any updates on trees like this here at greenwood bonsai thank you very much